Hey everybody, I'm Tony and welcome back to Hard for Games. If you want to go ahead and skip right to where this tape begins, we're going to put a timestamp link in the description below, and we're also going to showcase it on screen so you can just kind of scroll right to it, so you don't have to hear me talk anymore. But if you're still with us, I'm going to describe the tape and also describe why we re-uploaded it. So what is this? It's a 1997 VHS promotional release from Nintendo for Diddy Kong Racing. And it is one hell of a 90s time capsule. You'll, you'll see in a second here. So the question comes up, why did we opt to preserve and re-upload this tape? Basically, we were dissatisfied with the other versions that were out there. Especially on YouTube, you know, uh, they might be really old uploads from when YouTube only allowed 240p. Maybe it was like 11 years ago. Maybe it was a re-upload of a re-upload. Or maybe the person, you know, through no fault of their own, didn't have the best capture equipment, or whatever. Basically, we just thought that we could do better. So we took a VCR that has HDMI out and got a nice, clean, clear, lossless signal from the tape itself. And that's what you guys are gonna see today. I do believe that VHS tapes, and I could be wrong, but I do believe that VHS tapes are, are composite signal natively. So just to make sure we weren't blowing smoke up our butts and it didn't matter anyways, we did do a comparison with multiple prosumer VCRs with a composite out, S-video out, component out, and HDMI out. And HDMI, to nobody's surprise, provided the cleanest, clearest visual with the best contrast. So, without further ado, hope you guys enjoy. First on the scene, first with the news, last in the journalist's invitational softball tournament, this is Hot Topic. Tonight, we uncover the real story surrounding Diddy Kong's latest adventure with never-before-seen footage obtained from Nintendo insiders. Now, here's your host, Trent Tillman. Hello, I'm Trent Tillman. The recent whereabouts of Diddy Kong have been a mystery. Until now. To get the story, we sent world-famous adventurer and thrill-seeker Dirk Monahan to catch up with the elusive chimp. Now, Dirk has run with the bulls of Pamplona and braved the raging waters of the Amazon in nothing more than an inner tube. He eats danger with a spoon, wipes his chin, and asks for seconds. Dirk, can you hear me? <coughs> All right. Now, Dirk, you were the first human to experience the Diddy Kong adventure, is that correct? Mm-hmm. And how did you do? Oh, I didn't think you could break that. What exactly happened? Mm -hmm. So you were trying to pick up a balloon, but you were sideswiped by a squirrel, hit an oil slick, and smashed into the hind leg of a brontosaurus? Dirk, was Diddy a part of this? Tragic. Let's check in with our chief correspondent, Dent Chassis. Dent? Trent. Dent, as Dirk discovered, it seems we are dealing with something drastically different. That's right, Trent. We believe Dirk was involved in what's called the adventure mode. <sighs> this is no place for the faint of heart. Here's what we know so far. This realm pits you against a number of challenges. Make your way by collecting golden balloons. These unlock doors to four areas. Dino Domain, Sherbet Island, Snowflake Mountain, and Dragon Forest. Once inside, you'll explore the worlds and race the boss of each one. If successful, you'll take the Silver Coin Challenge. Collect all eight coins, and you're one step closer to the ultimate battle with Whizpig. This, Trent, is no cakewalk. Let's go live to our rookie reporter, Frank Fontaine, with breaking news. Frank? Frank? Yes, Trent, we have just obtained this ultra-super-secret press release from Nintendo. It appears that Diddy Kong will also be racing new and different vehicles in this adventure. Specifically, hovercraft. That's right, hovercraft and planes will also be available. This is racing like we've never seen before, Trent. Even head-to-head -head and versus mode, players can race different combinations of vehicles. Plane versus cart, cart versus hovercraft, hovercraft versus cart, plane versus plane, cart versus cart, hovercraft versus hovercraft! <laughs> okay, Frank. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't miss Trent Tillman's Sunday Night Special Report, Brush with the Monkey. What do you remember about the incident? I don't know. There was, there was a dinosaur, some kind of cave. Then he hit me with a heat-seeking missile. He showed no mercy, man. Brush with the Monkey, a Hot Topic Special Report, Sunday at 8. Welcome back. 
What could have caused this seemingly docile chimp to adopt such reckless behavior? Take the case of Sheila Weston, Diddy's sweetheart for the past four years. Theirs was a storybook romance told in the tabloids and talk shows. But sadly, and suddenly, it came to an end. I was in the kitchen. I had just made a banana coconut casserole. It was his favorite. He said he was going out to look at a hovercraft, and he never came back. I think he felt like he needed something more, more action, more thrills, more horsepower. I miss my monkey! Oh boy. Frank, what's the scene out there? Plane versus plane? Covercraft versus cart? Cart versus plane? Covercraft versus heart? Let's check in with Candy Krause in the Hot Topic XJ443 jetpack. Candy, what can you see? Well, Trent, my gosh, it's much higher than I thought. We're looking at over 20 different courses here with all types of terrain. It's really, really dangerous down there. It's quite difficult to see how anyone could survive something like this. Courses with mountains, canyons, tunnels, volcanoes, lagoons. The list goes on. The adventure mode allows you to earn the right to race the courses here in the tracks mode. Players can race against another opponent or in actual time trials. Speaking of time, Trent... <laughs> Good question, Candy. There are others believed to be involved in Diddy's adventure. Banjo the bear, Crunch the alligator, Conquer the squirrel, Timber the tiger, Bumper the badger, Tip Top the turtle, and Pipsy the mouse. Let's get an update from Dent Chassis. Early reports indicate an arsenal of weapons is being unleashed. Homing missiles, multi-shot missiles, oil spills, mines. In some cases, bubbles are even used. Players may collect shields to protect themselves, but we've heard that high-powered magnets like this one have already been spotted. It seems the tensions are already running high among the participants. This bag of acorns was found shoved into the exhaust system of Crunch's plane. Right now, all fingers are being pointed squarely at Conquer. We'll have more information on this story as soon as we have more information on this story. <clears throat> Let's check back in with Frank Fontaine. Okay, Frank. Hot Topic has been granted an exclusive interview with two Nintendo insiders with some startling information concerning Diddy Kong Racing. There's something else, something deeper. It's the Rumble Pack. It lets you actually feel the obstacles, the terrain, the other vehicles, and especially the weapons. You know, I'm over 300 pounds, but it shook me. We know you've got the inside tips, Daryl. That's all we want. What about the turbo? All right, all right, all right. When you hit a turbo, let the boost fizzle out before you press the A button. If you press A, you'll cut off any boost you have going. And the power-ups? When you collect three balloons of the same color, one right after another, you get a totally powered-up item. Say! And you can also use the zippers and spinning bananas to increase your speed. Don't forget the hovercraft! <sighs> when you're heading into a sharp turn, use the R button. Okay. This will make the hovercraft hop. Then it's easier for you to make those turns. Something about an overworld. When you're exploring the overworld, there are hidden balloons. Really? You can find them by using all the different vehicles, okay? You people are vultures! Uh, <clears throat> little help? Thanks, Daryl. But let's not forget the four-player capability. That's it for our Diddy Kong expose. We leave you with one final thought. There is only one way to experience the adventure for yourself. Diddy Kong Racing will be on sale November 24th. Or you can check it out right now at your participating video store or retailer. But remember, please, drive safely. This has been Hot Topic. Here's what's coming up next. Check out the slam bangerific N64 titles for the holidays.
Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and a share, and we will see you guys next time.